the global con computer chip shortage has hit the auto industry hard. In the U.S., it's led to a massive rise in the cost of second-hand cars, with some vehicles being sold for more than they were bought new. Kate Fisher reports. For seasoned salesman Lucas Michael, this is uncharted territory. Well, it's unprecedented. You know, you've got cars that I, I was buying for four, five, six thousand. They're now costing me seven, eight, nine thousand. I've never seen anything like this. I've been doing it over 30 years. The pandemic changed everything. Car factories were forced to pause production and cancel orders for microchips. At the same time as there was an explosion in demand from companies making laptops and gaming consoles as more people stayed at home. Now there aren't enough chips to go round. Because there's no new cars, there's no trade-ins of the older cars, which is what I sell. And because I can't get cars, there's a shortage in uh, inventory, so demand has spiked because of uh, all the stimulus money that's been pumped into the economy. And so we've got huge demand, low supply, and all the prices have gone up through the roof. Lucas is confident that he can weather the uncertainty, but he worries that it could cause problems for less experienced dealers. Used cars in the United States have risen in price by 21% since April 2020, with 10% of that increase happening in April this year alone. That's according to the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics. U.S. President Joe Biden says the long-term solution is for the U.S. to make more of its own chips so that it's not reliant on foreign manufacturers. I've been saying for some time now, China and the rest of the world is not waiting, and there's no reason why Americans should wait. We're investing aggressively in areas like semiconductors and batteries. That's what they're doing and others. So must we. But right now, that doesn't help consumers like Taraz Richardson. I'm looking for a used car now, and I found a few, and they were pretty reasonable. But when I actually got the money to purchase it, it just skyrocketed. Online, I checked last night, it was like $24,000. The cheapest one was like $18,000. So for now, Taraz won't be changing his car. And patience is the advice from motoring organizations, whether drivers are buying or renting. The consumers are not only feeling the impact on their on their wallets when looking for a new car, but also if they're going to rent a car and they're going on a road trip this summer. What's happened is the rental car companies sold off their inventory during the pandemic, and now because of a chip shortage, they can no longer uh, add to their new to their inventory. Analysts predict the shortage could last into next year, leaving American motorists with fewer cars and higher prices for some time to come. Kate Fisher, CNA, Arlington, Virginia.